Dear Dad, how are you? Mum says I'm not to write to you and whine or complain. She says I'm only to write cheerful things. I'm not to say I'm worried about you, even though I am. I'm not to write anything that might make you feel bad or sad. I'm well and being good. I've grown almost an inch since you've been away. Mum says by the time you get back, I'll be almost as tall as you. I hope that doesn't mean you're going to be away for a long time. When you first went away, you said you'd be back home in no time. My teacher, Mrs Beardsley, said it would be all over by Christmas. But Christmas has come and gone, and another is almost here. I'm worried about Mum. She never said I couldn't write that I was worried about her. Mum doesn't laugh much anymore, and I hear her crying at night, because you're not here. Mrs Beardley says, that you and all able British men have got to fight because an Archduke got himself shot in some place foreign. Why should you have to go abroad and fight just because someone in a country across the sea got killed? Remember when Uncle Fred got kicked by Major Henry's horse? He died and no one went to war over that. If you're not related to this Archduke, why did you have to go? What's it got to do with our family? I don't understand why the whole country has to go to war. I thought killing people was murder. So it's okay to kill people if our government declares war on them first. Remember when Amy Driscoll kept picking on me and you said she was just a cowardly bully and that I should stand up to her? Is this war the same thing? Is this us standing up to a bully? Can the country and all its people be bullies? Or is it just kings, queens and rulers around the world who tell everyone else what to do and we all have to do as we are told with no say at all? I have so many questions and it upsets mum when I ask her about the war. Can you please just come home? I miss you dad. Promise me you'll come home safe and soon. Then maybe you can explain to me what this war is all about. Your loving daughter, Sally.